Charlemagne asked the question uh, to Master P. Um, and by the way, this is Follow the Money, Episode 4. He asked the question, uh, does ownership matters? Does 100% ownership matters? Ownership always matters. Ownership matters because you're in control of your brand when you have ownership. Whatever it is, whether it whether it's the um, the the the, the master to your album, whether it's the masters to your music period, whether it's ownership and your publishing company for your books or your music, ownership always matters because it's about the fine details, the percentage, the control of who does what with your product, brand, or anything else. So when you look at it, if I have 100% ownership in whatever I have ownership in, and someone goes to use that, I can stop them from using my content, my music, my brand, or I can allow them to, hey, I see what you're doing. I see that you're struggling. I see that you you know, can benefit from using something that I've created. So I'm going to allow you to have, and then ownership is also important. The main reason is because it can create generational wealth. Now, if you own something, and let's say that God forbid you pass away, you know, you perish from the planet, your kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids will have something to fall back on. If you did it, and you always supposed to make sure something that you own is 100% around the board, um, great. Like, you can't have, you can't not work hard at it if you own it. I'm saying you ain't going to bullshit with your own money. You're not going to play with your own money. You know what I'm saying? And I, I call that hustling backwards. So, at the end of the day, when you're making these moves and decisions and you know, ownership always matters. Because if you go and create some great big thing, or you go and you build up some great big thing that is not your own, that you do not have ownership in, and you basically piss it away or have somebody else in control of something you built even though you never owned it, you should own it. That way you have the control, you have the say, you don't feel like you built something for nothing. And sometimes... And like I said in the previous video, you'll build something up only for someone bigger than you or brand bigger than yours to come down and squash on it, man. And you know, that's why ownership is important. If you own it, you control it. If you control it, you benefit from it. You eat from it. Your children eat from it. Your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren eat from it. Once again, this is... Follow the money. This is Jim's TV 87. And I'm signing off. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Love this shit. Because everybody should be following the money. I want to ask you when it comes to ownership, does 100% ownership matter? Like if Kellogg said, we want to partner with UP on, on your Hootie Hoo cereal, but we want 40% ownership or 49%, would you do that? Yeah, because if I could own 51 percent and we could get this in more places, then, you know, that's the being able to control the narrative. Uh, you're going to have to open up for us to make this reach the masses. We're going to have to do some type of distribution with somebody. But long as we can control what our product are doing, that's what my mindset is, uh, being able to control it and have the majority of the ownership in business. So you're going to have to bring other people to the table to uh, make this bigger. Yeah, I don't think some people understand that because people talk about ownership, ownership. But it's like, yo, you can own 100 percent of nothing. Yeah, you know what? And 100 percent of nothing, that means you has nothing. But 51 percent of a trillion dollars is what? And that's what we got to think, change that mindset. Uh, but also being a boss is not for everybody, Charlotte, man. So I'm not telling everybody out there that you have to own a company and be a boss because you do need workers. <laughs> so at the same time, but it, with every company is like a car. You got the starter, you got the engine, you got the battery, you got all these different pieces. So everybody could be they 
be a leader in that system. And so I built my company like a team. You know, basketball has changed my life and saved my life. And it's like, be a part of the team. I got so many great people on my team. And, and that's what I look at. And I tell everybody, everybody don't have to be at the for, forefront. So just be a part of the team uh, and, and play your role. Because some people don't like to play their role. So being a boss and being an owner of a company, you got to make decisions. You got to make sure people have stuff before you. You have to take care of everybody that's on your team. So, yeah, no, you don't have to have 100%. If you control 51%, then 